Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 22 on ABAP. So this is going to be a continuation of the previous one on the field symbols. Last video I explained what is field symbol, what is the advantage offered and how we can improve the performance by using a field symbol uh, by avoiding the modifying our body of an internal table within a loop or deleting it. So uh, the continuation of it, we have very commonly used uh, concept and field symbols, assign components. What is the use of the assign components? Okay, let's see. Uh, this is the previous video slide about the field symbols, it just holds the uh, address of the variable or a data object or a parameter. It, it normally the reference to that, okay and uh, no memory space is occupied and once you create it it just pointed to uh, the address of any variable so that's why that field symbol is mostly worked with okay and uh, today's one what we are going to do was uh, this is a very common scenario which we referred or used in many of our programs or any any of the existing programs we might used it so that is what I'm going to do it over here suppose I have a work area and based on the field I want to know what is the value of it okay so this is the work area it has single record and what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop this work area and I'm going to read the value by field by field okay here it is three Suppose I'm going to use the entire EKKO structure. So it has almost 100 plus fields. I want to read all the values of 100 fields in this work area with the help of assign component. Okay. So it's very simple. And I'm going to make a do because I'm not sure. It's going to be dynamic. I'm not sure now it's the EKKO. So tomorrow it might be uh, something else. So I'm going to use a dynamic loop. So end and do an end do infinite times and I'm going to uh, assign the component. So component is nothing but field name, right? So here I'm not sure about the field name. I cannot be use, I cannot use hard code values because it might change. So I'm going to use as index. So assign component index. So here what I'm going to do is just index of this work area so index of structure work area so these are the uh, syntax like assign component of structure of which structure okay here you can hard code the value suppose i want to know what is the value of books so you can say assign component books of structure uh, this is the structure name is w a underscore e k o work area that is the name i am going to give I have the structure w a underscore e k k o to a field symbol okay this this can be uh, declared on the flow or you have to declare with the data type called data so data is nothing but a generic data type in a map okay so both way it, it can be possible so once it is assigned and make sure this is assigned properly so you have to use if size sub is equal to zero otherwise without assigning if you're going to read the field symbol you'll get a short depth so if I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to check size sub bar C if it is zero then I'm going to print the value of or from this fun field symbol okay so once this is fail when is going to fail once the index is done it's going to fail if it is fails i'm going to use else exit so it's come out of this do loop this is a basic idea of assign component assign component is nothing but you are able to read the value of any field it can be your work area it can be your internal table whatever it is you are able to read it Another scenario I'm going to uh, use today is I'm going to take one internal table with all the fields of a table. Okay, same EKK I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to take all the fields from DD03L uh, table. I'm going to get all the field names of EKK. After that, I'm going to fill another internal table with the data. So the idea is I'm going to uh, need what is the value of each field from this internal table okay so what is the value this is actually a content field content right is field content so what is the value of ebelin from the first record what is the value of books and what is the value of bstp 
and all other fields okay so for this i'm going to use the same assign component uh, but not with the do i'm going to the loop because it's going to be an internal table over here so i know how many uh, records is going to be so i'm going to use loop so first i'm going to loop this internal table data okay so loop at it into data wa data and i'm going to loop this one as well because our these are each field is coming in each record so i have to use loop i can't use read read if this if you use read only one value will come but i want the value of all the fields so loop at uh, structure into data and w structure then it's a common same syntax assign component of the structure fields nothing but abelian of the structure your data w underscore data to any field symbols type data so if size of value is zero, just display it. And if it is, if this is a loop. So once the data is completed, once the, it ends the number of records, automatically it's come out of the loop. Okay. So this kind of scenario you might uh, received as a, a requirement. So I have one internal table uh, in this manner, and another the the same field names or whatever value is going to be the heading of the other internal table. So I want to match and get it. So we have to use assign component for this aspect. Okay. So let me get into the system and show you two few examples. Then it's very easy for you to understand. This is my system and uh, I have a select statement here, select single AKKO fields into a work area. So now I'm going to use psi index to get all the fields, field value. So do uh, assign components what do you want to assign so I want to index so I'm not going to hard code any field name you can use index as well assign components I index uh, what is that one? of structure wa underscore ek -E here there is no field symbols are involved okay structure and you can make use of it with your normal work area and psi index as well and uh, structure to here I'm going to use field symbol fs value. So it's the on the flow declaration. If psi sub bar c equal to zero, so write this value. Else exit. Activate it. Execute. I'm oh, sorry. There's no slash. Execute. So this is 800 as a client, and this is normally um, purchase order number. And then CH11, I'm not sure what is this. So these are some, some dates. So it will it will read the data from your work area field by field. Okay. Suppose if you feel I don't want psi index, I want a value of uh, what is that? Ebelin. So I'm saying E B E L N of structure W underscore E K K O. Activate it. I'm sorry, it should not be in the do loop because it has only one. It's it's uh keep on is going executed because Ebelon is always there. So let me do one thing. Let me cancel this. Go to my program. I want this not in the loop. Because this is a work area, right? It has only one data. So it shows what is the value in the particular field. Okay. So this way you are able to make use of the assign component. Uh, it's nothing but get the value of the field from your structure. I think about work area. And the next option is I'm going to get the all the fields uh, from okay, select from DD03L fields. I 
one field name okay field name where table name equal to ekko into table on the flow declaration data it you can say structure so the next so the next i need the data from the table so table it ekko data so now i'm going to loop my content first ekko data into on the flow data wa data and then i need to loop my structure because i want the field for all the fields of my ekko table you can convert this for your business need so you may be uh, internal table with vertical information so you want to compare with the another internal table it may be in the horizontal so you have to compare and get the value so for that mostly this concept is using so assign component of structure is nothing but the field name of which structure this is a field name and what is structure that is available in my data so once things are available so keep it in the field symbol on the flow i'm declaring it or you can declare as a data as well type data field symbol field symbol name and type data that way you can declare it okay so if yes is about equal to zero i'm going to write the field name and uh, the value so structure field name Some pointers like for easy identification and the value field symbol. That's it. Afterward, and what is an error? WKK was unknown address. Okay, because I changed the name. So let me come on this. Execute. So if you want a breakpoint, okay, I'll show you the breakpoint in the debugging mode. So first data it comes, it, it has all the values, okay, first record, and uh, whichever field you want, you can get it through as in component. So what is my first field is M A N D T. There's a first field. Oh, sorry, maybe it's in the order could be deferred. Let's see what is the order over there. No, it's not. I think it's hanged. One second. Yeah, it's just back. Okay, so this is the first field L O E K Z. I didn't sort it, so it just comes uh, in the order. That's fine. So then it will take the value, assign component, say sub is equal to zero. So so the field is uh, delete indicator so the value could be empty or there, there may be some value as x so let's see what is the value of fs value yes uh, it's empty now then it's going to keep on uh, doing the same loop for the inner inner loop is going to be for different values now it's bstyp and what the value is f so it's keep on executing it i'm going to full execution and uh, it will display the value so the values for each field is displayed some field has values some doesn't have some dates has default values and this is the evelyn and uh, customer name okay so this is the way the assign component will work so this is very simple um the assign component once you need to understand how it works and what is the value over here and what is here
only these two will will take care every uh, aspect or concept over here okay so instead of w a s t r you can have a field symbol also that there, there is no much difference on it you can have like this uh, into suppose assigning field symbol fs for structure right str then just change the format instead of or carry a go the field symbols and here also okay activate it's good so there is no much difference instead of work area i just use the field symbol that's it and the field symbol of okay, is not a design so now it got assigned yeah the same thing it happens just execute fully okay so this is about the assignment of field symbols so just play around if you have any doubt please let me know thank you so much for your time see you in the next video